a lot of mobile phone technicians are not able to use their multimeter to the fullest that's because all they know about they know about the continuity test mode which is integrated with the diode reading mode in this multimeter and also they know about the dc range some of them use the 20 volt range or the 200 volt range to test their multi the test their battery only okay so i want to tell you that it's not all about these two ranges because that's what most of you guys do you guys know only about testing your battery then using the continuity test mode maybe some of you are not even using it to the fullest especially if you look at this one you will see that it has the continuity test mode and the diode reading mode so these are two different modes in which you need to read them differently in your multimeter but that's not what we will be talking about in this video this is just a quick video in which i want to introduce you to the resistance section as a whole you see this resistance section i use all of these sections when i am troubleshooting mobile phones it depends on the type of fault depends on the circuit that i'm working on depends on the components that i am working on so you see all these ranges right here this is resistance range which is to test resistors resistors with different values so if you check right here you will see that we have 200 ohm range right here so this 200 ohm range you can test resistors between 1 ohm to 200 ohms from 200 ohm to 2 kilo ohm resistors you can test them from here and from 2k ohm resistors to 20k ohm resistors you can test them here so you see this 20k range and same goes to this other ones it goes up to 20 mega ohm resistors in which we have these high value resistors in a mobile pcb it, it, you might see only a few of them like one or two but they are in a mobile pcb if you use schematic diagram the reason why i'm showing you these options is because i have noticed a lot of technicians they they go on removing a lot of components resistors in a mobile pcb saying that they, they are not reading and that's because they are not setting their multimeter in the correct range to test the resistor you understand so like i said this range is right here is called the resistance range which you have to set your multimeter to a particular range to test a specific resistor when you check another value of that resistor and the only way that you can know that is by using the schematic diagram of the mobile phone that you are working on when i talk about schematic diagram i mean schematic diagram not pcb guideline because the pcb guideline won't give you a value of a resistor also most beam mapping won't give you a value of a resistor so when you use your schematic diagram you are going to know the value of a resistor if you see that the value of the resistor is above 200 ohm right here you are going to set it to 2k ohm 2000 ohm kilo ohm right here so actually kilo ohm so if you see that it's above 2000 kilo ohm you set your multimeter right here to be able to test and it will give a reading because if it's 20 kilo ohm you set it right here it won't read you set it here it's not also going to read so this uh, continuity test mode have to test low value resistors which is similar to this one right here any resistor above this especially when the resistor is a mega ohm if you test it even here it's not going to give a reading and maybe you will think that there is an open circuit in the resistor then you go on change while everything is working well i have a, a video if you are watching this on tiktok i have a video which shows how you can completely read your multimeter completely and also if you want to learn everything about repairing in great details how to troubleshoot any type of fault then you can send me a message on whatsapp to purchase my course or purchase my course directly from the link in my bio if you are watching this on tiktok or purchase it from the video description if you are watching this on youtube my courses are on promotion right now with a 45 percent discount so rush and get it before it goes back to the standard price because the standard price if you are getting my level one and the professional level course you will have to pay 230 dollars in the standard price but if you are getting it right now you can get both of the courses for just 130 dollars so rush and get it right now and follow for more